fabulous fundraisers and welcome to Artisan Auctions. I'm your host Kelly Russell and today we are going to talk about a fantastic way to increase revenue at your silent auction and build community after the auction night ends. These easy money makers go by many names. Some people call them party boards. You may also hear them called sign up parties or buy in parties. But no matter what you call them, today I'm going to share four hard and fast rules for making party boards happen without major headaches. Get ready, it's time to raise some money. <laughs> Sign-up parties are designed to engage your donors in activities that they can enjoy with other members of the community by getting together to experience a shared interest. This could be a parent's night out, a concert, a, I don't know, whatever activity you think your donors will get excited about. And this is a great chance to help cultivate donors throughout the year. I have four hard and fast rules for sign-up parties. Rule number one, you must have a set date. Rule number two, you must have a set location. This is critical or you may find yourself trying to coordinate 30 people's calendars after the fact. Trust me on this and don't be afraid to make these decisions upfront. When you include these parties in your event, you want them to sell out fast. So rule number three, you must limit the number of spots available. As guests peruse your silent auction, we want them to walk by the party boards and say, ooh, I better sign up for that right now or there won't be any spots left. If you offer too many available spots, they may say, eh, well, there's still plenty of space, so maybe I'll sign up later, and then you've lost them. I like to cap availability around 20 to 30 people at the very most. You can even have a party that will only host eight. That's perfect. Rule number four, you must make signing up a one-step process. On your sign-up sheet, you'll want to have the cost of each spot pre-populated in the column on the right next to each bidder line with a blank for the guests to write in their bidder number. That way, donors only have to write one number and they're done. We've seen everything from poker parties complete with booze and cigars to ladies only summer pool parties with flip flops and lemon drops. Get creative and make an event that your donors will be dying to attend. You could have a higher price point for five couples to join in on a progressive dinner, limo included, or a special dinner catered by a famous chef. Mm, delish. What do you think about party boards? Yay or nay? If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your fundraiser friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment letting me know what you all would like to see on future episodes of Artisan Auctions.